there guys, gals, non-binary pals, GM Potter here. Welcome to my channel where I review books and bookish things. I post on Thursdays, I'm pretty good about posting them every Thursday, and then the first and third Tuesdays, although in April I'm planning on having a video every Tuesday up, so come along for that journey. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing. And today we are going over, let's get it out of the light, Seance Tea Party by uh, Romina Yi, and let's get into it. So this book is a graphic novel and it came out in 2020. It has a 4.27 stars on Goodreads. And it's a great, great little story about growing up and moving on with your life. Um, and the art, the art, can I just talk about the art? The art is so cute. Like it is absolutely adorable. And in the back, like we have the acknowledgements and a little blurb about the author. And then we have concept art and who the characters are and her process for drawing and she gets into what like what she uses and like it's just oh, it's so cute so our main character laura it isn't ready to grow up and put away childish things uh she still loves playing make-believe and having tea parties and adventures and she feels like she just can't keep up with her peers uh she's she just turned 12 she can't keep up with her peers who are talking about boys and makeup and trendy things and she just can't keep up nor does she feel like she really wants to because she enjoys make-believe and she enjoys playing she just doesn't get the obsession of her peers which i fully related to like i still play with toys like i've got a lego set and i've got over on that corner I've got some dolls and I make doll clothes and like I, I haven't fully put away childish things even though I'm in my mid-30s now um, so um, she's she's not ready to put away this stuff and she's she wants to have a tea party but she likes spooky things so she's going to have a seance tea party so she makes a, a spirit board and it's so cute. She's t she's pretend talking with a spirit, and then the spirit actually a spirit actually answers, which is our ghost Alexa, who we see on the cover. That's her. That's Laura. That's Alexa. Um, and she they become fast friends because Alexa was actually her imaginary friend when she was little and played make believe with her and played all these things. Sorry, I don't know that one. and played all these these games with her and it it's so cute and it's so sweet and the the ghost I'm not going to say her name anymore because my little house elf over there uh, reacted um, the ghost isn't bound to one temporal location and so she can go with her to school and while Laura goes to school the, the ghost goes and plays at the at the local elementary school and becomes an imaginary friend to the grandson of one of the kids that she was friends with when she was alive back in the 70s which is heartbreakingly sweet and the ghost um, on Halloween they go trick-or-treating because Laura wants to go trick-or-treating she doesn't want to go to the big kid parties where they just talk about boys and makeup and things and they end up at the house of an older friend, uh, a friend of hers that's in high school now. The friend invites her in and is like, hey, come hang out with us. And the ghost encourages her to step out of her comfort zone. Just a little, just, just try it. I'll be right here with you. And she finds that she actually enjoys it and she does have things to contribute because they're telling ghost stories and she's like, um, it's not a ghost story, but like this is something that this is a supernatural phenomenon and they're entranced and like she, they hit it off because they like spooky things too and like she has more in common with with her peers than she thinks she does and 
little by little she starts to put away childish things and grow up. And the ghost encourages this, but it also... I don't want to spoil it because the ending is so... is so heartfelt and so... It's just, it's like a little water bottle right here, a little hot water bottle right here for your heart. And, oh, uh, I love this book. I'd give it four stars. It's a young adult book, but as a grown-up, I thoroughly enjoyed it. There are some things that felt a little rushed in it and a little, like, there were some things that never fully got explained in the supernatural aspect, and I'm like... I want more. Like, that's the, the only problem I had with this book, really, is that I wanted more. Like, it felt like she was, like the author was told that, you, that this is the page length that you have to have because this book is for children. And there was more to the story that she needed to tell us, which is not a bad problem to have. It's just I wanted more. So have you read Seance Tea Party? Have you read anything else by Romaina Yi? Um, this is the, my first book I read by her, and I'll be looking for more of, from her in the bookstore. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!